Hello guys and gals, it is Boyn Red Games here. Today continuing on my let's play on Plants vs Zombies. So I'm just gonna turn up the settings here. It's quite quiet the other time. Okay, so in our last video we got our first plants, zapped our first zombies, and so we're gonna start the next half of day and finish it off. So Let's get into it. And we've also got a new zombie here. And I'll tell you more about it when we get there. So as always you need to start your uh, sun production just planting some flowers as soon as you can. But since we've got this, yeah, since we got this potato mine here, don't plant a pea shooter, plant one of these guys. Because, because you, because it only costs 25 sun, and you can get your sun economy up, so then you can plant more easy. See here, I'm still, I'm getting lots and lots of sun compared to my last video where, I was only getting about 50 sun for my pea shooters. And yes, we got an achievement. Spadal, you just need to kill the zombie with a potato mine. So apart from the new potato mine thing, or the potato mine defense mechanism, there's nothing really new to this. Apart from the new zombie that we're going to encounter in a bit. Yeah, and if there are zombies coming down two lanes, you don't have to worry because uh, pea shooters charge very, very fast compared to the cherry bomb walnut and potato mine. Unless they're planted within three squares, so yeah, don't want that to happen. It's bad. Yeah, so when the cone head comes in, you uh, you need to remember to put your double P's in. And yeah, here's the new zombie. It's the pole vaulting zombie. It ha takes 17 health, bounces over the first plant it encounters, and it can be quite a threat in the early game. So usually the best way to stall it is just to use a potato mine right at the front of the board. So as soon as something's finished charging, you want to make sure it's um, you want to plant like the walnuts. You want to make sure that as soon as it's ready to plant, you place it right away. And here you can see it's about oh okay right potato but I have noticed that the pole vaulting zombies are right pussies because they just potato man ah, jump okay. okay so we're going into the final wave here and I think this is a good time to use the cherry bomb yeah so yeah, the pole vaulting zombies are, I think, the same speed as the flag zombie. So you can see it's... And here we go. Good game. Thanks, my powerful plant perennials. We love you. Okay, so we've got our new plant. And it is... The snow pea. So, yeah, the snow pea shoots frozen peas that damage and slow the enemy. So it costs 175 sun. Um, it recharges at the same speed of a pea shoot or a sunflower. And so, yeah, they're, 
they're about slightly since they slow since they slow zombies to half their speed, they're about as effective as two pea shooters in one place for less money. Great job, Popcap. We love you. Oh yeah, um, this is the first level to have two flags. As you can see down here at the progress bar, there are two flags, meaning that this level is going to be longer than normal. And if I'm right, I'm sure you um, better players than me might correct me on this, but there, I think this level, or the previous level and the next level are the only two levels in this episode that um, only have one flag, because as you can, as you'll be able to see in the uh, in the final level of this um, of this part, you'll see that there's a, a new gameplay mechanic, and that is the conveyor belts. But I'll get onto that later when we get there. If we get there, we don't get a premature game over. Okay, so now we're going to plant our first snow pea here, and here we go. Oh god. Okay, I've just realised something. Like, if you're wearing headphones, you'll just be able to hear the fact that as soon as a zombie is slowed down, you hear this, uh, mm. yeah, it's really weird. I don't know about you, but, hmm. There it is again. It's like, oh, you sex lady. Okay, and here is another pole vaulter. So they, so the snow peas, they slowed down the pole vaulter to about slightly faster than a zombie, I think. Because I'm not one for reliable sources. Yeah, shame. And also, since we've got two flags here, be free to take um, some time, but not too much time in planting your walnuts. Because walnuts, yeah, I did check, they do cost, they do take 30 seconds to recharge. Cherry bombs take a minute to recharge. So you're going to be using them during the flags that are coming up just about now. So it's always important that you have a snow pea on each column, or yeah, on each row. Because basically if you have two snow peas in one row, it's kind of useless because the freezing effect does not stack up. So it's better just putting a... Um, two pea shooters or one of the new plants that we're going to get in a couple levels time. As you can see I'm building up quite a lot of sun. Uh, don't worry for the early levels like this, it's perfectly fine. Also, don't be afraid if you just if there's a pole vaulter and you have enough money for a snow pea, don't panic. Just buy a snow pea. And okay, our defense is pretty good here. Okay, so uh, yeah, it looks like our defense is complete. 
Now I just sit back, enjoy the carnage, and collect some sun. Yeah, as you can see, all the uh, the pole vaulters, they usually die around the bottom two squares to third square to the left, to the right even. Okay, and here comes the final flag. Final wave. Um, where should I use it? I think I should use it here. Yeah, sun does disappear after a while if you just saw. But don't worry. It's just sun, right? Yeah. Mm. Okay, so we're going to finish up on this level now. And we got a new plant. Oh no, I do not like this one. Okay, so, who invented this plant? So, it's a piranha plant. Or, no, it's called a chomper, so it devours a zombie hole but is vulnerable while chewing. It's basically, kills one zombie every 45 seconds and it's very vulnerable so it can like be eaten and stuff. I do not like this, so we're not going to be using this in the next level. Okay, so, since we now have got more than six plants, we get to choose our own. So, basically, we're just going to stick to the same uh, plan as we did last level. So, let's rock! Oh yeah, and you can also see a new zombie there. More info on that as it comes. Always remember to put your potato mine in the fourth column. So then you can have room to plant your plants in the third column. Yeah, this level only has one huge wave, so there's less time to set up your plants, so get planting a walnut straight away. Mistake that I made there. Okay. Yeah, I always think that because I've been playing Plants vs Zombies 2 a lot, I always think that is I'm just going to mouse over the sun and I'm going to collect it. I really need to get used to that. Hey, no matter, the show must go on. Damn it! Oh yeah, um, one technical notice. If my cursor appears off balance, um... Don't worry about that, it's, I think it's just a technical glitch. Because I'm just using QuickTime Screen Recorder. So yeah. Okay, and here is your new zombie. So, it's called the Buckethead Zombie. No! Yes, yeah, so it takes 55 hits of... Um, yes, 51 P's worth of damage. 65 even. <laughs> Sorry, I was just thinking about the bucket. So, potato mines are good for this zombie. They're very good for this zombie. In just in case you're not ready for it. 
So I've also noticed that um, the bucket head came before the cone head guy. Odd. Hmm. Uh, it's good because I I almost placed that walnut in the wrong place, so and then I have to shovel it back up, and then I just wasted fifty sun and thirty seconds of perennial plants and stuff like that. Oh yeah, I have to plant a snow pea there. Okay, we're almost at the final wave. And let's -a go. And just put a potato mine there just in case. Okay, here goes the cherry bomb. Now as you can see, there's the bucket head there. So I'm going to put it here. Okay, so this is the new plant I was talking about a little while ago. Here we go. <gasps> it's a bootleg pea shooter. Oh, jeez. No, it's called the repeater. So basically two pea shooters in one cost 200 sun. Charges at the same rate as a pea shooter. Yeah, okay. Level one nine. Okay, so now we've got the pole vaulting zombie and the bucket head zombie. Whoa. Okay, so now, it's, okay, we're not going to be using the pea shooter anymore now that we've got the repeater. Yay. We love you, pea shooter. Doesn't matter. Okay. Sentimental sending off a plant. We love you. Okay, so let's rock. So now, since we got the repeater and it's more expensive, we're going to have to rely on potato mines, so basically more on defense and potato mines. Everyone loves potatoes. Okay, level one Yeah, this level does have two flags again, as does the next level. And I think, uh, yeah, so as the game progresses on, I think in the, in the third world, you even have, yeah, you have three flags. I think in the third world and the fifth world gets quite long. Yeah, so as you can see, we're getting quite a lot of sun up here. So the plan is we're going to plant our snow peas first, and then we're going to focus on the repeaters. Okay, so here we go. Yeah, so here you need to plant a snow pea, just in case. He'll go down pretty quickly, hopefully. Come on, die. Die! Okay, I think we're going to bring in our repeater here. Okay, so... So the snow pea repeater combo, we're going to be relying on that a lot, and I mean it. So it's going to become very important, so the snow pea will basically slow them down, the repeater will provide the firepower. And also, snow pea is basically a repeater that costs 25 less sun. 
because it slows down zombies to half their speed. So, we're basically having a double repeater combo, you could say. Okay, so now we're going to focus on the repeaters. Okay, so we're going to get ready to fight the first huge wave now. Yeah, and there's like the funky parade music. It's like, charge forward and name no survivors. And then they like die and then, yay, no one likes you. So this, um, this Snoopy repeater combo can be quite useful for the bucket heads or the more powerful zombies in the game. And there's quite a dangerous one that I'll maybe show, yeah, that I'll show in part four. I think that's where it comes up. And it is very, 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 very tricky to counter. Since you're not that, you're not going to be that advanced. Dinner. No, no, no. Okay, I'll stop. Sound a bit like Darth Vader there. I'm sorry. <laughs> Actually, I th yeah, every everything is, um, Everything's at full. Okay, so back to game. So you're going to start, want to be making a minefield, potato minefield, just in case there's the odd pole vaulter. Right here, yeah, talk of the devil. Those pole vaultings can be quite right buggers if you don't know what to do. The double walnut strategy also works. So you plant one walnut in front of another, so then it's kind of an impenetrable wall, and yeah, it works well against the pole vaulters. And also just using one plant, one new plant that I'll be showing off soon. Part six, even. Yeah. That will be... That will just stop the vaulting zombies completely. Okay, final wave. Here we go. I'm going to use it here. And after this level is the conveyor belt level I was talking about earlier, and what? You don't get any new plants in this level, but... Hello, we are about to launch an all-out attack on your house. Sincerely, the zombies. Okay. Come at me, bruh. Dead plant. Okay, so, conveyor belt levels. The plants are given to you at random, as you can see, cost nothing, no sunflowers. And here we go, one of the most amazing soundtracks ever. Uh, oh my god. 
Right, sorry. I'm ju I just need to stay quiet here. It's just this is too amazing. Ultimate battle. Possibly the best video gaming song in history. Oh god. Yeah, so these levels can get very, very, very hectic. Okay, so you want to plant your more powerful repeaters and snow peas. That's the back. And your walnuts and chompers and potato mines at the front. And your potato mine as well. Uh, yeah. And here we go. Sorry. Yeah, I'm going to have to leave you here. Sorry, this is my jam. And I'll see you in a minute. Okay, I'm back. Sorry. You just always have to listen to that music because if you don't, you're weird and you should be executed at sunset. You know, like you normally do. Okay, yeah, this is this is another two flag level. And beware, all iPhone users, this can get very, very laggy. So... If, if you're on high quality, do not attempt doing this. Or if you've got an old phone, pull out. Pull out now. Yeah, these walnuts are getting quite depressed. And now, 45 seconds later. They finish. Screw you, Chomper. Yeah, if you're running out of um, space on the conveyor belt, what I like to do is I just place them, place all the plants randomly. Hey, what are you going to do? What I'm going to do is place a cherry bomb here. And you can potentially get another achievement on here. So all you need to do is just explode 10 or more zombies with a single cherry bomb. Very simple, very easy on this level. And final snow pea. Ooh, yeah, we need another pea shooter here, don't we? Thank you, you can die now. Yeah, so they do lose their freeze on a little bit later. And, okay, I'm leaving you here again. Time for a jam session.
Okay, I'm back. Sorry. You just don't interrupt me during that bit because it's just beautiful. And here we are about to finish up this day level here. Yeah. yeah, it's been nice knowing you. Mm hmm. Okay. And final wave. And let's try and see if we can get this achievement. Three, two, one. We got it! Explodinator. Here we go. Okay! We finished it. So, here we go. This is going to become quite important for the next world. It's free! Oh my god! Okay, so. Right, so this is the puff room. It shoots at enemies three squares in front of it. It's free. And recharges really, really fast. And so, but we're not going to do this now, we're going to do it next level, or next part even. So, I hope you enjoyed this Let's Play video, and all you have to do is just like, comment, and subscribe to become a guy or a gal in red, and I'll see you next time. This is Boy in Red Games, signing out.